out everybody I'd like to welcome y'all to my YouTube channel uh, from the past as this is my first ever video so you coming at me from the future from the now as you're staring at your your little screeny screens for my 30th birthday I decided to buy myself a motorcycle. Um, this lovely little 2007 ZX6R. Got it from uh, that Rumble On site, actually. And I'm sure there's a lot of reviews out there and on everything you see at first I was a skeptic but then I purchased and I love it well um, I'm not endorsed by them obviously you know first bike they uh, if I wouldn't sponsor some random ass dude uh, getting his first ever motorcycle so obviously not sponsored paid by them for any of this jibber jabber I was looking at a 2009 CBR 600 double R and I sent in my uh, paperwork or my application for it and they it took a little while, I guess, that I was later notified that they were pretty busy as, a, you know, I was buying it in the spring. That's obviously probably when most people are buying it. Uh, not the best time to get deals on bikes, for sure. But I feel like ultimately that side, I mean, it was a pretty good deal for me, I think. Um, they, did, they sold that CBR... Two days after I filled out the application, they got back to me about four days later and then said unfortunately they had sold the bike and of course I was a little heartbroken and then I saw this one and I'm assuming you guys can guess how that went. They. Uh, told me they were doing some repairs on it before they would send it to me, which, I mean, is great. Less shit I gotta do. We never talked, you know, money or anything at this point, just what they had it for sale. And then it, you know, they send me this paperwork to fill out and I filled it out and sent it back to them and they're like, yeah, you're good, man. So it'll be this much. I was like, well, what about all that repair? It was like... $1,500 worth of stuff they did, like I think a new rectifier, new stator, uh, they changed, like literally replaced all the fluids, uh, spark plugs, I think there was a line or something that was a little damaged, it was leaking just a little bit, so they just went in and replaced the entire thing, put new brakes on it, new rubber, and they're like, no, that's, that's this much. I was like, well, <laughs> well, all right then. So, uh, I was like, let's go forward, man. Let's let's do it. I'm sure, I think this whole process was about three weeks. But they uh, sent me a message saying they need my address so this guy can get it to me. He said, uh, well, it'll be there Tuesday if you'll be home. I said, I sure will. And he asked me, uh, or he tells me, hey, we'll be there the Tuesday. Drop it off for you. And I said, all right, that's cool, man. I'll, I'll go ahead and take off. And I was like, I'll probably wait at the, wait at the window. And you know, like any good sane person does, just wait for seven hours for whoever to drop whatever you ordered off. <laughs> and uh, Thursday, the Thursday night before then, like 8.30 at night, I get a phone call. So I answer it, and he's like, hey, man, uh, give, me, 
me a landmark. I'm looking for better landmarks for your house. I was like, well, I live right next to two churches, but there's about 15 of them in this town, so kind of doesn't narrow it down a whole lot. He shows up 8.30 at night, what was that, five days before, uh, five days before he was supposed to drop it off. I get a letter from Rumble On that said they were sorry he showed up so early. And I said, hold up, wait a minute, that's quite all right. I was fine with that. Now, from my understanding, is people are a little upset at this same company due to they're trying to sell a bike. And they're pissed because they want to give them, you know, five grand for their, what they say, $20,000 Harley. And it's a low ball offer. I'm like, well, you know what? It's a business, man. But of course, you know, I think everybody, you know, wants to believe that, like, I want to believe, oh, yeah, this motherfucker is like, it's still a $15,000 bike. No, it's not. It's probably not worth as much as I paid for it. But, it was cheaper than a lot of other comparable bikes around my area. And they didn't deliver it. And they didn't fix the shit. And they... And I didn't get charged for it. So it bridged that gap pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, this old girl came to me with 9,000 miles on her. Almost on the dot. I think give or take about 50. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay. I don't know what he yelled. I didn't catch that. It's probably a subscriber. No, I'm just... Uh, there's literally zero. <laughs> Nobody's probably going to see this video for a little while, but... I want to know how many of you guys are new. New to riding. I mean, I know I am. I've probably got... You know, I've got... Probably less than 1,725 miles of saddle time so far. Which, I mean, some of these old schoolers, they probably like, you mean 170,000? No, one, then a comma.